Imagine looking out over the skyline of a bustling city, and instead of seeing a flock of birds or a passenger jet, you see a pod of dolphins or a gliding submarine. This is Aquatico, where you're building a city on the ocean floor after an asteroid strike has rendered the surface world uninhabitable. Instead of roads, you'll build pipelines. Instead of city buses, you'll have submarines. And instead of tornadoes, you'll have to worry about shark attacks. Much of Aquatico plays out like a surface-dwelling city builder. Mining, fabricating and farming are reminiscent of what's come before, but resource management is the real star of the show. Swift expansion must be tempered with the infrastructure to support it. I found it a mostly relaxing experience to build in the bubbly blue depths, but it's livened up by moments of alarm as red exclamation points flash up, telling me about a deficit in fuel or oxygen. Another bright point is the Frostpunk-esque expedition system, which allows you to send explorers off-screen to investigate signals, abandoned colonies, or new sources of resources. These missions help the world feel bigger, and like my city is just one small part of it, even if the slim narrative of each one usually boils down to a pretty simplistic choice. The biggest issue I had with the game was the research tree. Rather than being laid out like a logical tier list, everything is combined into one long, scrollable menu, where things are often put in places that feel less than sensible. The result of this is having to burn through weeks of tech research at 8x speed, spending a huge amount of money to do so, just to reach the item I wanted to unlock. There's another issue with Aquatico that's harder to pin down. After hours of work, I've built a tremendous city that doesn't really feel like a city, just a big network of factories connected by pipes. Part of it is that the footprint of nearly every factory building is a perfect square, so my city looks like a big flat grid, hampering how much personality I can really give it. The human settlers are so separate from everything else, with neighborhoods confined to square domes above the city instead of more organically integrated amongst the industrial areas and farms, and straight pipelines with 90 degree bends just aren't as enjoyable to build as winding roads and bridges and highways. My city is pretty grand, but I never developed any real fondness for it. The resource management systems of Aquatico are pretty deep, and there are a lot of charming details and some inventive ideas in the Undersea Builder. But like the water it's submerged in, my city wound up feeling cold. It's a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. Do you like the look of the game? Feel free to tell us down below in the comments, and while you're down there, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the PC Gamer channel.